Hi everybody, hope you're well. Thank you for clicking on the channel. Uh, what we've got for you today is a video of me just test riding a 2020-21 KTM 890R. I've got a Honda uh, Africa Twin. I love it, not gonna get rid of it, but I just fancy something a bit more barp to it. Um, I've already taken that street triple, very nice bike, but not too sure if it's gonna suit my needs. So uh, I went to the KTM dealer uh, where I live. They haven't got any uh, demonstrators in, sadly, but uh, I did ask if they could put me in contact with the chap that owned the only one uh, in the area that I live. Uh, and that chap was very nice and said I could take it out for a spin. So this is a video of me uh, just trying my first ever KTM. Uh, I hope you like it. I've tried to cover all the, the points uh, that I think are, are relevant. Um, if you're looking for one of these things, I really enjoyed it. It was bitterly cold. Um, it's sort of uh, middle of February, I guess, 2021. It was zero degrees centigrade outside. So uh, a little bit of ice on the road. So not the best condition to try the bike, but I had a great time and I absolutely love the bike. Uh, apologies for the uh, sound quality. Uh, I think there's a problem with the microphone, so I've ordered a new one just in case, or it might be something else. So that's it, guys. Sit back, relax. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you've got any comments to make, uh, please leave the comments below. Uh, any way I can make the videos uh, more entertaining and more interesting. Hope you enjoy it. Take, take care. Bye-bye. Well, folks, I've just ridden the bike for a couple of miles. It is bitterly cold today. It's zero degrees centigrade. And I'm not going to spank the bike, not on those uh, Michelin Power Cup tyres. Um, it's not on my bike and I don't want to bin it basically, but it's a fabulous looking machine. And let's have a quick look. So he's got the full uh, KTM Power Parts Acropovic uh, system in it. And he says it gives it about another 10 horsepower. So going from 121 to 131 horsepower. He's got the KTM Power Parts uh, rear sets, which take it slightly back and up. And he's got some non-standard bar and mirrors on it as well you can see here which are pretty useless in fairness so let's put the helmet on and let's take it for a spin see what she sounds like ready to race there we go ice warning it's bitterly cold um, in neutral but it sounds quite fruity There it is guys, looking very nice, so let's take it for a run. Oh, that is chilly. So what can I say about this bike then? Uh, it's a 2020 model, No, not sure if any difference between that one and the 2021, I don't think there is. Uh, the chap has put the full Acro system in it, he's got the rear sets, um, he's got the tech pack which gives you the quick shifter, blipper, etc. and all the other juicy bits that comes with it and he's put some non-standard bar end mirrors on it which uh, yeah you can't see much out of them in fairness. Uh, the roads are, oh it is, it is bitterly cold at the moment so I'm not going to, not going to push the bike at all with these tyres on. So I've ridden the Street Triple 765 RS. I've taken that out a couple of times now. And straight off the bat, this for my five foot nine 12 stone frame feels uh, more at home actually. I uh, prefer this riding position. And although he's got the rear sets on it, I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable. I've had a Fireblade GSXR K2 Suzuki and yeah straight off it seems pretty pretty uncomfortable pretty uncomfortable pretty comfortable it's the cold getting to me guys uh, so initial thoughts are not bad at all not bad at all and i prefer it to the triumph 765 i say it is very cold uh, i don't want to come off on the old uh, black ice so I am not going to spank this thing at all. The uh, handlebars feel really comfortable. Uh, he's got the uh, non-standard ones on. I don't know if it, they're the same angle and sweep up, whatever you call it, than the standard ones. But yeah, it's not uh, it's not uncomfortable at all. 
some of the YouTube videos say you're like right over the front wheel but I've got to say I can't feel like I'm doing that at all uh, the seat feels pretty comfortable in fairness I think it's the standard seat uh, it's not soft and plush but sometimes a firmer seat I guess can be better than a soft plush seat which over a number of hours in the saddle may become uh, too soft and your bum becomes a bit sore So at the moment then, first impressions from a comfort point of view, which is really what this test ride is about, is that, yeah, I'm finding it very comfortable. I'm five foot nine, I've got my motorcycle boots on, so they're a little bit thicker than normal shoes, I guess. Um, but, can I flat foot? Yeah, I can flat foot it, more or less. So that's not a problem. So from a fitment point of view, shall we say, it sort of fits me pretty well in fairness. So that was one thing I definitely wanted to try. Obviously, if you're looking at spending a lot of money on one of these machines, uh, you want to make sure that it can fit you, like I mentioned, on the ride down to, to meet the chap to take this out for a spin. Uh, the local KTM dealer just didn't have one in stock. In fact, this is the only one on the island um, so it's like all these things, it's a lot of money to spend if the thing is not going to suit you and your riding style. So I'm so glad I've uh, been able to take this out for a spin, albeit uh, a gingerly spin on roads and a road surface which may be harbouring some slippery ice. So hence the reason I'm not caning it. So my, my brain is still in pull the clutch mode to change gear. So I'll try and do a few uh, clutchless changes, although where I live predominantly it's a 40 mile an hour speed limit. So I can only test the quick shifter in the lower rev range. So third gear, fourth gear, yeah smooth enough, may not be as smooth as the Triumph, but nothing wrong with it at all. So let's talk about the engine. What do I think about the engine? It seems pretty smooth in fairness. Uh, may not be as smooth as the Triumph. I keep banging on about the Triumph. Uh, but this is a twin cylinder. The Triumph is triple. So I guess it would be a little bit smoother. But this seems to have quite a lot of character low down. And I actually, for where I live, uh, the main reason I'm on this machine is I've got the Africa Twin. I love the low down torque. And I really, 95% of the time I'm going to be riding on the island with a few little trips away to mainland Europe or the UK. So I need a bike that's going to be uh, fit for purposes, uh, as we all seem to be saying. And this, at the moment, seems to be uh, doing a great job. Uh, lots of low down pull on it. Certainly more so than the Triumph. Uh, I guess it's horses for courses. If you're in the UK uh, or elsewhere and you're doing long trips, then maybe the Triumph might be the bike, but yeah, quite like this. So it's always nice to go through a speed check. Boys in blue. So I don't need any, I don't want a bike that I have to stir and, you know, rev, rev the knackers out of it to, to get some enjoyment. Um, so I want something most of, the, most of the time I can just potter around in the low revs with plenty of low down torque. And at the moment this certainly seems to be fitting the bill. But why is it wherever I go a lorry wants to go the same way? It's ridiculous. But yeah, the engine feels really nice. Right, let's go. And it certainly... Bloody hell! OMG as they say, that is amazingly quick. So let's just give it a wind on third gear. Yeah, that is serious. 
seriously quick. Seriously quick. Again, there's not much heat in this tyre, so I don't want to go nuts. But that is absolutely... Absolutely nuts. In a, in a schoolboy kind of way. Yeah, that is... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me, that is crazy! Oh my goodness, I think I've just realised what this bike is all about. That is... That is... Fun. Oh, it sounded like a schoolboy. Again, I've got to be so careful with these roads. I don't know where the... Uh, where the icy bits are, so I'm... I'm just taking my time with the bike. It ain't mine. And I don't want to pay for any damage to it. Anyway, on the side note, lovely views there. And again, another lorry. You see all this water here? I have no idea how much of it is frozen. So, I'm not going to go like a loon. <laughs> well, that was crazy. So, impressions are, I love this engine. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So that's the engine then. Um, I had a look at my computer before I came out. Back in the day when I had my GPZ 900, that was pumping out about 115 horsepower. And I can't remember how many Newton meters of torque, uh, foot pounds of torque. I'll just put them up here somewhere. And this. Uh, the standard 890R puts out about 121 or thereabouts, so this is 131. So maybe this has got a bit more oomph, obviously. So that's produ the 890 produces more power and certainly more torque, again the figures up here, than my first big, big bike uh, back in 85 when I had the GPZ 900R. Uh, sensible, Paul, what else is there? So that engine is, is great, even from low down. There we go, that third gear. 20 miles an hour picks up fine so what about the suspension uh, yeah really good um, comfortable uh, obviously it's sports suspension uh, but fine and I'd like to say this, if this is a standard seat uh, which I'll put something up here to say if it is or not if it's a standard seat then yeah it's it's comfortable um, some people have said it's uh, like riding a plank of wood, but no, I find it comfortable and not a problem. Uh, switch gear, what I like about the switch gear is that there's not a million buttons like some of the bikes where you need to sit down for about a week and read the manuals. Uh, this seems to be all pretty sensible and we've got the horn and the turn button in this in the normal position without any joysticks getting in the way that's great that really is good i like that so what do i think about the brakes and the brakes are very good brembo brakes uh, no complaints there i've got i have got pretty small hands guys um and i find that the span on to to reach the brake lever is fine uh, i'm not sure what the brake pressure is set to, they've got that sort of uh, 19, 20, 21 ratio, uh, 19 being you've got to squeeze it a bit harder and then the 21 being it applies maximum pressure uh, with minimum effort as they say, so I think this might be on 21, uh, but yeah, brakes are really good. Oh man, this is a nice bike, this is a nice bike, Deary me. Oh dear, and I, I got to say I prefer, prefer it to the Triumph. You can get a little, a couple of little screens, one just a fly screen to stop the, the uh, insects hitting the back of the instrument cluster there, or you can get a slightly higher one, and, and it's a, a proper windscreen, so I think if I get one I go for the proper uh, windscreen just to have a bit of protection if I wanted to do a little bit of touring on it and I've got to say that I think you could uh, go away and do some some mileage on this with not too much problem as I say I'm 5 foot 9 12 stone average sort average build um, yeah and I've got my I've got a, a Krieger R20 rucksack on at the moment 
um, which I can't feel. Uh, it's only a new purchase, so it's the first time I've actually put it on. And yeah, I'd be more than happy with the rucksack. Got the pairs of underpants, uh, maybe a tank bag, you can get various tank bags for these. I get a tank bag fitted uh, with the screen on the front, and woof, you'd be gone for a few days. Uh, a few days of mucho funno, as they say. Oh man, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. Like it. Uh, anyway, if you want to buy a Porsche, there's our local Porsche garage, which has got the uh, BMW dealership in there as well. And if you want a Bentley, feel free to go and buy a Bentley. Oh, here we go, look, Bentley. Tax Haven Island of Jersey. Full of Ferraris and Bentleys. I think the only thing I haven't really spoken about is the handling. Uh, what can we say about it? Uh, razor sharp, uh, super scalpel or whatever they call it. Very nice. Uh, not much effort needed through the bars. Uh, this bike has got the uh, about 500 pounds worth of the uh, triple clamps, the KTM Power Park triple clamp fitted. Um, but yeah, it's uh, oh, it's, it handles really, really well, really well. So like the engine, like the brakes, like the comfort of it, I was a bit, uh, is it going to be comfortable? But yeah, it's really comfortable for me. Lo uh, yeah, loving it. I like the controls, uh, very simple, uncluttered. The, uh, the dash is fine. It's not, I don't think it's a top quality, you know, 4K resolution kind of thing. But it's got everything I can see, the the um, the gear, indication, speedo, fuel range, and all that. So it's got everything I need, and if I need to change it, I'm not going to join the fly because it's, I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, it's fine. And I know it's in road mode at the moment. So yeah, it's given me a giggle factor even just in road mode. Oh man, I want one, I want one. My wife's gonna kill me. Oh, rucksack, tank bag, and you're gone. So the other thing I, I really haven't spoken about is the fuel range. Um, I think this is about 3.4 gallons. So, yeah, it's only got 70 miles left and I've got uh, half a tank. So I don't know what kind of range you're gonna get out of it. And I've got a Porsche behind me. Yeah, tax, tax haven island of Jersey. So, fit and finish of the bike then. Doesn't seem too bad. I don't think it's up to the, uh, dare I say, BMW or Honda standard. But it's fine. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to leave any of my bikes outside. And my bikes always sit in the garage under a dust cover most of the time. So, fit and finish ain't a problem. I prefer it over the street triple. Um, and I'm gonna say because where I live, most of the time I'm gonna be down at sort of three or four thousand revs, and this is more than happy potting around at, at those those kind of uh, low RPMs. So for me, uh, this suits my needs on island, and if I want to go away, I can have a bit of fun away, and it might lose out on the top end to the triumph. Uh, but most of the time where I am here, whoa, where I am here on the island, this is going to more than, more, more than be adequate, be more than adequate for my needs as we come on to the only stretch of dual carriageway on the island. I like about the bike, the fact it's got one of those old fashioned things called a key that you put into a hole, turn it and it fires electrics up and it also has an old fashioned key that you put into the fuel filler cap so none of that uh, fancy keyless ignition, keyless fuel filler caps, so that's a, another big plus uh, for me as well so that is the final word guys I'm returning this bike uh, to its rightful owner uh, all in one piece, I'm uh, glad to say, and I'm going to put a load of fuel in it for him, as he's been very kind to let me uh, take it out on this uh, demonstrator ride. 
Uh, but yeah, I really like it. I really like it a lot. Cheerio! Bye bye. So, that'd be good if they could sort that out. Just put a little, you know, male part off the side stand to make it easier to find.